Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro, and in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received the other day. Uh, it actually came in from Lorraine, and she says, Hi, Andrew, I know you're a busy man. <laughs> I am, but hey, I enjoy doing this. Uh, is there any chance you could show how to put together a Midori calendar insert? Uh, and so this is inside of Microsoft Publisher. I've been doing some Microsoft Publisher tutorials, and that's what this is going to be on, is how I would go about doing um, a calendar insert, um, or at least uh, how to do the setup for the insert. We're not actually going to look at creating the entire calendar because I already have a huge tutorial on how to create the, the actual inside part. Um, and so that's something that you can watch and just add it into what I'm about to show you. So this is specifically how to do the setup. So let's take a look. The first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is open up Microsoft Publisher, and then you're going to want to go into right here, more blank page sizes. Uh, under this, you're looking for booklets, so click on that and you're going to choose a half letter booklet. Now there's a reason that you do this, so don't freak out and say, hey, that's not the correct size. It really is not the correct size, but I'm going to show you because of the fact that, well, we'll get into it. There's some specific things that, that this is going to be the best setup for you. All right, next, uh, when you click on that, it's going to tell you that you need to, or it's going to automatically insert four pages for you because it's a booklet. So go ahead and just click on yes, and it will go ahead and create the document for you. Uh, once you've done that, um, choose the first spread. So that's this one right here. You're going to right click on it and uh, hover over top of this master pages. And we're going to go down to edit master pages. Uh, once we're inside of the master page view, you're going to come over here to the page design tab. By default, uh, you are, I think, just underneath master page. Uh, but you want to jump on to the page design tab, and then we're going to be looking at margins, but you want to click that little button right there so that it shows you this. And we're going to choose custom margins. Now what this is changing is actually this blue line that goes all the way around both sides of the page. That's what we're actually going to be working on. Once you're inside of uh, where it says layout guides, um, we are going to on the inside put down uh, 0.25, on the outside uh, 1.5, on the top 0.25 and on the bottom 0.25 and once you say OK on this you're gonna notice that those blue lines have moved so now it was over here it has now moved to uh, in one and a half inches from each edge so now we've got some space over here and some space over here what we've just created is our safe design area so our designs can go inside of here and the parts that are out in here are going to end up getting cut off. All right, so next, while we're still underneath the page design tab, go underneath um, guides and then come down to uh, ruler guides. Click on that and it's going to bring up this new dialog box. Now, by default, you're on horizontal. Make sure that you click over to vertical and then we're going to put in two different guides. We're going to put in 1.25 and then you'll have to hit the set button and then put in 9.75 and hit that set button a second time and it'll drop it inside of this dialog box. Go ahead and say OK and when you do that you'll now see that we have two new lines that have appeared. This one and this one right here and those are the actual where it's going to get cut. So we're going to actually cut off um, one and a quarter inches from either side of each page. Hopefully this will make more sense once we get all done. All right, go back over to master page tab and then click close master page. And now you'll see that on the spread, we've got some extra space over here that's going to get cut off. Our guidelines, our, 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 our cut lines are in place and then also the safe area where we can put our design. 
is now in place. And also on the cover page, we'll notice, because this is not a spread, so this is just the cover page, we've got a spot for our design over here, and we've got the area that's gonna get cut off on this side, and then if you go to the very last page, you'll notice that it jumps to the opposite side. Right, so that's if you were to have the entire booklet folded and you're now looking at the back page, that's the piece that's going to get cut off there. From here, I went over to the insert tab and then I clicked the little uh, drop down underneath page, and that brings up this new little dialog box. And then you want to click on insert page. When you do that, it brings up this box, which allows you to punch in an exact number of pages. Now, I did uh, 36. We've already got four, so that gives us a total of 40 pages for our little booklet, um, which is which is great. It's it's actually 10 sheets of paper folded in half, saddle stitched, and then trimmed, and that ends up giving you a total of 40 actual design pages to work with. Uh, go ahead and say OK, and now you will see we've entered in a bunch of new spreads. Keep in mind that each one of these spreads is going to be facing pages just like this when you uh, once you print your design. So every single one of those spreads will be pages that are facing each other, so when you open the booklet, they're side by side. That's a great, a great reason why you would want to design it this way and that's just one reason but uh, and if we scroll down to the bottom we'll see we've now got a total of 40 pages uh, one other thing i wanted to show you here is that uh, the reason that we set it up this way is because once you print this out um, all of the pages will get folded in half and they get inserted inside of each other and then you can saddle stitch, or basically you put staples here and here, fold the book, entire book in half, and then this part right here, one matches up with this, trim off one and a quarter inches from the edge, and you've now got your fairly standard size uh, Midori insert. Now, just, uh, just know that this will work um, for, like I said, a pretty standard size, but I've noticed that some traveler's notebooks are, um, uh, what do you want to say, passport? Passport size. You could do the exact same thing that we've done here, only you would need to change uh, your safe area. is like somewhere around in here, something like that. Um, so that would need to get cut off and you'd have to design a little bit smaller, but you would still work with a letter size page. I hope that that makes sense. Um, so if your calendar, if you measure it and it's not uh, eight and a half inches tall, if it's shorter, you would need to lower, uh, you would need to lower these guides down and then put yourself a cut line, um, a horizontal cut line in. Uh, makes sense. All right, so I hope, uh, Lorraine, I hope that answered your question. Um, guys, if you're following along and uh, you are not subscribed to the channel and you would like to see more videos like this one, please take a second to subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.